hello everyone welcome back again to my channel if you're new to my channel please don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel on this paper I'm going to be making a crap top measure pattern and these are the measurements I'll be using for this pattern so let's get started so on my work table what I have here is my pattern paper my pattern paper is on fold so I pin it to this material so it will not move and I'll be using my tape measure my ruler my curve ruler my scissors and my ink so let's get started on my work table I have a pattern paper one from the front front panel and the other one for the back panel the other one for the back panel I rule out a mark here I don't know if you can see it properly two what the mark here I have is two inches two inches these two inches here is for my zipper allowance for my back panel so I'm going, I'm going to be drafting the panel the back panel and the front panel to together in this tutorial so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring out my shoulder to shoulder measurement my shoulder to shoulder measurement is 17 inches divide by 2 what I have is 8.5 so I'm going to be starting all my measurements behind my zipper allowance because I put the two together. So the first thing I'm going to do here is this. Not to get you guys confused, I'm going to take half an inch at the top here. I call that imaginary line. Then I'm going to rule it out straight. So I've ruled out a, a imaginary line on this pattern paper. So the next thing I'm going to do here is to put in my shoulder to shoulder measurement. My shoulder to shoulder measurement is 17. I divide by 2. What I have is 8.5. So in that 8.5, I'm going to add half an inch to it, making it 9 inches. So at the top here, mind you, all my, um, all my measurements are going to start behind my zipper allowance, which is 2 inches. So from here, I'll put in 9 inches here. 9 inches so at this 9 inches here I'll count that by 1 inch so I'll leave that there so on my front panel my neck depth is going to be 3 and a half inches from here is 3 and a half inches mark it but then my neck depth for my front panel is going to be 3 and a half inches I mark it then for my back, the net depth for my back is going to be 2 inches. You can make it 1.5 inches or 2 inches, depending on you, but I'm going to make it 2 inches. So, now the next thing I'm going to do here is to, first of all, connect my shoulder slope from here, from this place to this point. I haven't connected my, sh my sh neck width to my neck depth. So the next thing I'm going to do here is to now put in my straight measurement. Uh, which is my vertical body measurement so before i put that in i'll first of all put my ham hole my ham hole is uh 9.5 so yeah i put in 9.5 9.5 yeah i roll it out my ham hole I will not connect this line like this here. This will now serve as my chest line. So, have I done this? The next thing is to put in my straight body measurement. My straight body measurement is from my shoulder to my bust. So my shoulder to my bust is 13 inches plus half an inch for ease of movement is 13 and a half. So I go here like this, 13 and a half. Then from my shoulder to my waist is 23 inches. 23. So the next thing I'm going to do here is to rule out a, a line like this straight down, like so. Rule out my horizontal line. The next thing I'm going to do here is to put in my 
to find the main spot of my ham hole so on my tape measure my ham hole was 9.5 so i'm going to find the midpoint 9.5 so what i have here go like this here so here is my mid spot of my ham hole 9.5 so so here is my chest line my bust line my bust point line and my waistline so the next thing I'm going to do here now I'm going to find my bust line my bust line my round bust measurement is 44 24 divided by 4 what I have is 11 so I'm going to be adding 2 inches to it would make it 13 inches so because it's a crop top I'm going to be had, uh, putting my bust measurement on my chest measurement so I'm going to be putting 13 inches here like so 13 inches so because my bust measurement and my chest measurement they are the same um, measurement I'm going to roll it down like this Then I'll go to my waistline. My waistline is uh, my round waistline is 42 inches. Divide by four, what I have is 10.5. So I'll be adding two inches to it. You can add one or three, depending on you, but I'll be adding two inches to it. That's what I want to add to it. So two inches, 10.5, we're gonna be making it 13.5. So I'm gonna put a 13.5 here, like so. So I haven't done that, I'm going to collect the line down as well to make it from this point here to that point. So the next thing I'm going to do here is to now create my ham hole. So I'm going to link my ham hole from, from this measurement to my midpoint like so. I'm going to place it like this, then I'm going to connect it this way. So you just simply blade it in, yeah. So having done this, I'm gonna be adding one inch for my sewing allowance. You can add half an inch, depending on you. So I'm gonna be adding extra one inch for my sewing allowance, like so. Then I'll go to my waistline. I will add half an inch because I want my waistline to have this kind of curve. So on my waistline, I had a half an inch. I'm going to connect this line from there to there to there. Also had half an inch, or you can add one inch for my sewing allowance at the top. Let me add one inch because I always like a lot of fabric for my sewing projects. So I had one inch to it. So now I connect the line. So have we done this? We have finished drafting our crop top uh, design pattern paper so remember your zipper allowance two inches for zipper allowance so now the next time i'm going to do i'm going to cut it out the shape then pin it back on my work table so you can see i finished trimming my pattern paper out so i'm just going to pin it at the bottom here like so so it can stay properly okay I finished two minutes. Remember, before you finish, before you cut off your pattern paper, remember to add your half an inch at your shoulder here. So I'm going to quickly add half an inch here, like this. Just follow the shape of your shoulder slope and add half an inch to it. Because you need that half an inch for your sewing allowance at your shoulder slope. So you go up from your shoulder like this and add half an inch. So like this, so I'm going to use my free hand to connect it. Just go from here, got my pin here, it's not allowing me to do it properly. Yeah, then you just connect it straight. So that material, you see that allowance, you see that it will serve as your material for your, for your shoulder. So having done this, I'm going to trim off the back net out. 
So I've trimmed out the back neck weight. This this for the back. So the next time I'm going to trim out the front, like so. This for the front. So the front is now trim out. So I'm going to also going to pin it. So we'll finish now. So now the next thing I'm going to do here is to now draft my pattern paper for my back. Sorry, for my ham hole. That is my sleeve pattern paper for my ham hole. So I'm going to take this off now to draft my sleeve ham hole. 